Okay, now freak my shit. Freak my shit. Freak my shit. Okay, I think that's that's enough jamming for one day. Hey, hey guys, today I'm doing a book talk. Can you guess what book it is? <laughs> Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. <laughs> Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian, wow. Am I Christine yet? <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about this book right here. As you can see, it is part of a, I think it's a trilogy. Um, there's Burn for Burn, Fire with Fire, and Ashes to Ashes. I've only read Burn for Burn, and we're going to discuss it. I should probably get out my notes, and let's get started on this shiz. I don't really know how to summarize the plot of this book. Oh, by the way, this will be spoiler free, and then I will have a discussion at the end, so I'll let you know when the spoilers are coming. It's like about this uh, like town island, I think called Jar Island, and it's like the perfect place, and like no, like there's no sketchy stuff going on. Like it says, nobody locks their doors at night, where parents can sleep easy, knowing their daughters are tucked away safe and sound in their beds. But bad things can happen, even to good girls. And sometimes the only way to make it right is to do something wrong. So this, we follow three girls. We follow Lilia, Kat, and Mary. And so it's pretty much a book about revenge. The closing sentence is three very different girls who want the same thing: sweet, sweet revenge, and they won't stop until they have a taste. So some. Shiz goes down and they want revenge for something that happened in the past and that's pretty much the premise of this book. It's a revenge book. I liked it, but at the same time, I didn't like it very much. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. So for the non spoily part, I guess I would say is that um, it was kind of your typical high school setting. There was the jocks, the mean girls, like the populars, then there was like the nerds and then the outcasts and it's like very stereotypical high school and... I don't know, I guess I didn't really relate to that at all because the thing is like, my school is nothing like that. It's definitely exaggerated in these books for the purpose of entertainment, I guess. It was just unrelatable in that sort of way because like, where I go to school is nothing like that and my life is nothing like these people's lives. So I guess um, it was a bit hard to relate to the characters. I didn't relate to any of them, to be quite honest. And I also didn't really like any of the characters in particular, but I think maybe we weren't supposed to. As I said, this is a book about revenge, so we do find revenge plots in this book, and some of them are just so bad. Like, wow, you got them so good. Like, good one. No. It was the worst revenge ever. Like, oh, you switched someone's sunscreen with something and they got a burn. Whoa, good one. There was a lot of unnecessary drama in this book, but I guess that was the whole idea. Um, it is supposed to be, I guess, for entertainment purposes that it's super, like, drama-y. Um, but I guess I didn't really like that about the book because it's like, okay, come on. This is so, so blown out of proportion. Everyone needs to take a step back and chill a bit. Some of my notes say like, this is really extreme. The plot, it was your typical high school stereotypes. The pacing was okay. Um, it was normal and then in the last like 20 or so pages, everything just like blew up and like it started getting really excited and really interesting and like it just, it just escalated quickly. And so I just wish that happened earlier because it was kind of like, a plateau and then in the last 20 pages it was like boom so like not really great pacing just because the most exciting parts happened in literally the last pages um but I guess that was to create hype for the next book or something but I don't know I just wish the excitement happened earlier to be honest like it just wasn't really realistic unless my life is like so boring that I don't find this realistic um but I did find it entertaining as it was very different from my own life. And I guess like the whole thing with entertainment industry, like in this day and age is drama. Like the Kardashians, drama. I guess that's what makes it entertaining because as a society, that's what we find entertaining. And that's what we want to read about in the tabloids and what we want to watch on TV and what we want to read. I don't know. It, it is an entertaining read. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It was really fun to read and just to like laugh at some of these characters. We slowly learned about each character and that added some mystery because at the beginning we didn't really know what was going on and why these girls wanted revenge on these people. And then we slowly learned why and I kind of liked that build up because it did add a bit of mystery 
to the characters and to the story and their past so I did like that about the plot. And the writing itself was pretty basic but it was still pretty good. It was really easy to read and really fast so I, I read this pretty quickly. It's just really easy to read if you're looking for something uh, just quick to read. This would be good I guess and it's entertaining, it's fun so this might be good if you're in a reading slump. Onto the characters, as I said before, I didn't really relate to any of them. I didn't really like any of them. So that did kind of knock my reading down a bunch because I couldn't really be like, oh, you're so relatable, I like you. It's always more fun to read when you relate to a character and when you're like, yeah, we're the same person. But I didn't really find that for anybody. It's just in conclusion, if you're looking for an entertaining, fast read, Burn for Burn would probably be a good book for you. Um, if you like revenge plots, this is the book for you. And if you like, like, typical high school stereotypes and just, like, ridiculous drama-filled books, then I definitely recommend this to you. Also, I forgot to mention, this was gifted to me by Brianna from Gusher Books. I will leave a link to her channel down below. So thank you, Brianna, so much for this book. I just, thank you so much. <laughs> that was my non-spoilery discussion review of this book. So if you haven't read the book, I suggest you leave now. Goodbye. All right, people, let's just discuss a few things. Lilia wanting to get re revenge on Alex because of she thinks that him and her little sister Nadia are like canoodling and then later on we realize that they're not even canoodling and that all they did to Alex was just for nothing and I knew it I knew it from the beginning I felt bad for Alex to be honest um, because he didn't do anything wrong and he just had this thing happen to him when we learned about Mary and her past I was like holy sh Reeve is a donkey you know you're you yeah. know he was just like, I couldn't believe that, and I understood why Mary would want revenge, but at the same time, I'm like, why? Just like, what is the whole point of revenge? You're just starting a vicious circle, people. They drugged someone. Like, that is extreme. Drugging someone is a crime. Like, that's not revenge. That is a felony. Is it a felony? I don't know. <laughs> I thought that was really extreme that they freaking like drugged someone as revenge and then like near the end I was like what the heck is going on this is all really extreme and then it all escalated very very quickly and there was like possible paranormal aspects I guess near the end and I was just very confused as to what's going on. Reeve could have died. He, he He's paralyzed uh, if I remember correctly as I'm rereading this but the EMTs came at the dance and he fell and they gave him E but I'm assuming something else happened um because Reeve ended up in the hospital and I'm pretty sure Mary has like some sort of supernatural power because she got hella angry and then just like sparks everywhere so like all the lights went out I don't know I just I think that Mary has something supernatural in her you guys enjoyed this all over the place discussion. If you have any spoilers that you want to discuss with me, maybe I forgot something, maybe I missed something, or maybe you just want to talk to me about this book, let me know in the comments below. But if it is a spoiler, please put a disclaimer at the top of your comment. Just be like, spoilers below, please don't read. Because I really don't want to be responsible for spoiling someone that hasn't read the book that wants to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very excited to be putting out more reviews and more discussions, and I think I know what to do now when I finish a book and I want to do a discussion with it. I have to film it right away or else I'm going to forget every single thing that happens in the book. Alright, bye!